so let's take a look at the accessories. I didn't show the extra head sculpt because I'm putting that with the accessories. So we'll start with the pair of hands. You see she has punch hands. Not really gonna show you those for the fact that she's just, they got them in punch hands and they look good, there's no fraying. Well, I might show you during articulation how they actually look. But let's look at the hands that are open. Just gonna show you one because they are exactly the same. Okay, and here we are. So you have the hands that are kind of open when she's doing her effect of the phoenix. She has them open like she's some kind of goddess floating in the air, right? Okay, and they have latches there and they fit in the peg, right? There you go, and there you have it. Little, little detail there on the hands. Not bad, there you go. Okay, so that's it on the pairs of hands. We'll go to the face poetry just to see how that looks versus the other. Okay, here we are. Of course, her eyes turn colors. Once she gets into that Phoenix mode, yep, she gets all hot, there she goes. Okay, so you do have nice structures, nice paint for the eyes. Of course, the lips, the lipstick. And of course, we have the flowing hair on both sides, which might be okay with movements. But like I said before, this is stiff plastic and it will destruct your moving ups and tilts and whatnot. So you won't get much of that. You'll just have some nice steel shots of her looking straight forward, right? Straight forward, okay? But it does look good. I mean, great mold, have the hair flowing. Of course, she's in her mode and so she might be levitating and doing her thing, right? But it looks good, so not bad on that. Okay, next up, we'll start with the flame effects. Okay, we'll start with the first half. This is the piece. There you go. I mean, what do you really say about this? They've made a uh, translucent fire, uh, got it the way they like it, and here you have it. It's just a second piece. And then you have another piece here, and what it does, they connect together, right? They have these, ah, there's peg systems there, and they snap on in certain areas. If, let me see if I can try to do that real quick. Let's see. Uh, kind of hard doing it while you're doing the film, right? I, I, I think I did it. So yeah, so that's, that's it right there. So there you have it. That part connects just like that. And then you put the other piece behind it, which is the Phoenix, right? So there you are. This is the two piece. I just showed you put it together. Looks very good. Let's put that up and let's look at the phoenix itself right okay all right there's your phoenix itself now I, I gotta admit that this is pretty nice for the fact that yes you put some lighting to this it will pop out and come to life and look really good having these different colors of orange on there and yellow so this would pop out very nicely it does have a lot of detail of like flame effects slash feather effects then you even have kind of a flame effect in the eyes so it looks really good, really nice. I do like it, okay, got it? All right, and everything that holds it together, once you have it situated, make sure you put this plastic piece in. That way you can keep it together when you're setting her inside the Phoenix effect, right? Cause she can stand inside the Phoenix effect. Once she's in there, you need to put that piece in there and it holds everything snug. That way nothing falls out. Okay, and so that'll do it for the accessories. Okay, so let's check out that points of articulation, the POA. All right, so we know, we said it earlier about the head. It's not gonna be that great on the head for the fact that we know that the hair is in the way. So ball and socket, I took it off earlier. It's a ball and socket in the head. So you do have movements around with the hair. Not bad, right? Get, not getting caught, so your tilts are okay. It's not that bad so far, but you know you're not gonna move up any because of the fact that it is in the way, but having the fact that you have some minor tilts and some ups is not bad, okay? Let's go to the arms. Very slender arms, as the other figure was. You do have your lat system that is inside the shoulder there, and it does rotate. Okay, got it, rotating there. So that's good for great movements, for high movements. If you need to do something like that, you will be able to. Okay, all right, and then you're gonna have also have your bicep swivel. Do have that in there, and your double jointed arms that go all the way in in the elbows, right? Of course, since the hands are interchangeable, they do rotate, and take a look at those fists since we didn't look at them close before. There you go, there's your fist, you got them. There you go, let's get a little closer. There you go, there you go, okay. Nothing crazy, right? Just basic, okay? And that's the same on both sides with the arms. Of course, like I said, they do move and everything on the 
on the wrist because they are interchangeable and they have their own latches, okay? The center of the body does have a lot of play. You can move it around and you do have your crunch system below where the belt is so you can crunch the figure up as we see here, right? Not bad. Of course, you've got your dumbbell joints and your thigh swivel is there, right? Okay, double jointed knees there and your feet are on rockers. They do rock and they're on latch system as well. There you go, okay? And that's the same on both sides. So all right, so the figure itself, just like we've seen before, nothing new, but hey, it looks great. Gotta love it, and that'll do it for the articulation. 